Hello, today I will demonstrate how to use the line and shape tools to mark out the room and baseboard for your layout design and how to create user objects. To watch other tutorials in this series, click the link on the screen now. I will start this tutorial with how to mark out the room and baseboard. On the settings tab, enter in the basic dimensions of your room. You can use the shape tools later to mark out any additional features such as pillars. Now click on the insert tab and click the add line surface button. Once you have done this, click the first point where you want a wall or the baseboard to start as shown. The points can be altered once all the lines have been joined. Now move around the edge of the plan marking the shape you want to create. When the last point is placed over the first, all the lines for the shape being drawn will join together to create a surface. We can then click on this surface and the Lines and Surfaces tab will appear. You can then change the fill colour, line colour, the opacity and you can also make it the background. If you use the previous steps to create the room outline, repeat them to create the baseboard's outer and inner dimensions. To add additional points to a shape, you can right click the edge you want the point to be on and select add point from the menu. Now let's move on to landscape features and buildings. Rows can be created using the line tool and using the around corners option to make the curve smoother. And press escape so that the line tool no longer is drawing. We select the line, we change the width to 100. Let me just click the round corners option and we have a road. We can use the circle tool to create water. Add the circle, place it in the area that where you're going to want some water. You can add extra points if need be. and if we set that to round corners as well those sharp points are removed you can then change the colour to blue change the line colour to blue as well and there we have it we have some water 
create a building, you can lay individual shapes over one another. I would, however, recommend downloading user objects first, in case what you are looking for has already been created. To download the user objects, click on the user objects tab and then click download new items. The time taken to do this will vary depending on your internet connection. Like the track libraries, user objects are divided into categories. They are first sorted by gauge and then by manufacturer. If you are unable to find the object that you are looking for, then to create it you will need the dimensions. So, to create a Hornby diesel refuelling depot, the following process can be used. First, place a rectangle onto the layout and then resize it to 180mm wide. You may find it easier if you set the snap to grid to 10mm and the scaling to 1 to 2. Now resize the depth to 250mm. To create the base of the diesel depot, add another rectangle and resize it to 150mm by 170mm. To mark the centre lines of the track slots, place two lines over the rectangles. These should be set at 41mm from the edge of the base. We now need to move the base section and the centre lines over to the roof section. We do this by drawing a box around the base and the centre lines and then dragging the selection over to the roof section. We need to change the snap to grid to 5 in order to get the base lined centrally to the roof. If you want to group the shapes or save them as a user object, select each individual shape using the control key or by dragging a box around them. You can then click on the group option or the save as object option. Once you've done this, you then enter in the details. Click OK and then somewhere in the list of the library that you've created the object for it will appear. Here you can see it's there. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. In next month I will be showing you how to use the layers tool to organize your layout.